So the light from this single star left that object 12.9 billion years ago. Uh, so that is almost the entire history of the universe. The universe is about 13.8 billion years old. And so that means the light that we're seeing from that star left that star when the universe was less than a billion years old. So really the early days of the early universe. Uh, so Arendelle is a name from the Old English and its translation is something like morning star or first light. And the reason that was chosen is because, you know, what we know about the history of the universe and star formation is that a lot has changed. Our universe has evolved dramatically from the first stars. But this here is an example of a single star that is from one of those first generation of stars to form in the universe. So that name first light is very reflective of the fact that we are really looking, peering back in time at a single star that is probably from that first generation of stars or right, right around that time, giving us our first insight into a star from the first uh, years of star formation in our universe. So we know it's a very massive star. Uh, we know that it is magnified by about a thousand times, um, and we know that it's coming from a period in our universe where star formation was very early, uh, you know, in its history. So when you put that all together, you've got Hubble covering our visible and ultraviolet, plus you've got Webb going into the infrared. You can see how it's going to expand our ability to see not only this object, but many different objects in the universe to learn much more about it in these three bands. 